Okay, so there's a new version of Agent Force, Agent Force 3, super innovative name, we know. Announced just nine months after the original version was unveiled at Dreamforce 2024, this is actually the fourth iteration, if we're counting Agent Force 2DX as a kind of 2.5 update. You can definitely say it's been through some changes. We know that navigating what Agent Force actually is and can do is pretty confusing. So in this video, let's cover how Agent Force has developed all the way from the original until now. And just before we start, a big thank you to Mowgli for sponsoring this video too. Let's get into it. Let's rewind all the way back to the beginning. Agent Force was officially launched in September 2024 during Dreamforce. The AI product was very much the center of attention during the event. We at Salesforce Ben even wrote at the time, this year felt less like Dreamforce and more like Agent Force. And we wouldn't be surprised if the name changed. It had already been teased during Salesforce's Q2 25 earnings call, and the idea of agentic AI was still fairly fresh at the time. Key concepts like the five attributes of an agent were being outlined along with explanations of how exactly they differ from chatbots and what the Atlas reasoning engine is. Even during this early stage, there was clear messaging that AI is only as good as the underlying data, a clear promotional nod to another heavy hitting Salesforce product, Data Cloud. At launch, Agent Force 1.0 came with a ton of other announcements, including the Atlas Reasoning Engine, referred to as the brain behind Agent Force. The engine considers what needs to be done, generates and refines a plan, and takes action. Agent Builder. This is how users create and customize agents, enabling them with automation, APIs, and code on the Salesforce platform. Agent Builder, along with Prompt Builder and Model Builder, form the Agent Force Studio. Agent Force Partner Network. Think of this as a new partner system for Agent Force. Salesforce made partnerships with a number of software vendors to extend agent building capabilities, like adhering to the same ethical guardrails, data sharing, and actions. Salesforce pitched Agent Force as a way to get up and running fast, using what you've already built in your org to launch with speed and control. The hype had been bubbling for a while, especially around its use in sales and service, though users could also build custom agents from scratch. Ahead of the October launch, Mark Benioff promised a quantum leap for AI. And while the Einstein Copilot had already been around, this wasn't just a rebrand. Agent Force could actually take action, marking a big shift. It launched at $2 per conversation, a price that sparked debate and quickly evolved as the product developed. If we had to guess, we'd say that 86% of the ecosystem thought the pricing was either a bit too much or too confusing but we definitely know that 86% of you are not subscribed yet, and you really should be. So, if you want to see more of our content, hit that button, you know you want to. Fast forward to March 2025, and Agent Force 2DX was announced at Trailblazer DX. This update, essentially a 2.5 version of the AI suite, gave Agent Force the ability to operate autonomously behind the scenes in the background of any business process, without the need for constant human oversight. Salesforce said at the time. New tools introduced with 2DX included Agent Force API. This enabled Agent Force integration into back end processes, other systems, and directly into applications, meaning customers could trigger an agent when an ERP order is made. Agent Force invocable actions. This meant that Agent Force could now be embedded within Salesforce business logic, like Flow and Apex. MuleSoft for Agent Force. MuleSoft Topic Center allows developers to use natural language to create topics and actions for agents from MuleSoft APIs. Other tools like Agent Force Employee Template, Agent Force Surfaces, and Agent Force Cards were also introduced at this time. They also introduced Agent Exchange, a marketplace for Agent Force similar to the App Exchange, designed to share and discover agents. The release, called 2DX, clearly leaned into the developer crowd, fitting since it was announced at TDX. The next installment of this tool came through a pricing update, and I'm sure you heard about this one. In May, Salesforce introduced a new flexible pricing model for Agent Force, offering customers a consumption-based model meant to align costs with business outcomes. We actually made an entire video on this that you can check out here. 
There had been some negative feedback from the ecosystem about the $2 per conversation's pricing model, and the CRM giant seemed to take this into account with an updated system where customers could allocate AI spend through the Salesforce digital wallet to align with high value use cases, optimizing AI initiatives for maximum impact. The new flex agreement meant businesses could manage both human and digital labor, shifting investments between user licenses and digital labor depending on business priorities. The pricing summary for the flex credits looks a little like this, and feel free to pause this video to get a better look. Speaking of customers, it's safe to say that we know it can be difficult to engage with them efficiently, especially over email. That's where this video sponsor Mowgli comes in. Struggling to get follow-up actions like confirming appointments or recovering abandoned carts? Try texting with an average 90% open rate, SMS outperforms email. Using Mowgli, a powerful SMS tool, you can send and receive SMS and WhatsApp messages directly from Salesforce. You'll be well supported too. Their support and implementation teams are 100% US based and all well versed in Salesforce. Find out why organizations that use Salesforce trust Mowgli with all their SMS and WhatsApp needs today at www.salesforceben.com forward slash SMS, which will be linked at the top of the description. Back to the video. And now let's take a look at the latest version of Salesforce's proprietary AI. On June 23rd, Salesforce announced Agent Force 3. This introduced new ways to monitor agents and the opportunity to connect to external enterprise tools. Perhaps the centerpiece of the updated Agent Force was the Agent Force Command Center, which allows users to monitor agent health, keep track of performance, error rates, and escalations in real time with alerts that flag issues instantly, understand adoption, see which agents are used most, what exactly is working, and where improvements are needed at a glance, spot patterns and optimize, analyze interactions and get AI-driven recommendations to increase the effectiveness of your agents. Tailor command centers, see AI and human activity side by side, starting with service cloud warboards. Build and test faster, use natural language to generate agents and simulate performance at scale with built-in tools for testing. Another super cool feature of three is the model context protocol, MCP, the AI standard for agent tool connectivity open source by Anthropic, which is currently gaining wide industry adoption. The use of MCP means connecting agents to the data and tools they need should become easier, leading to better agent outcomes. If you want to check out more of the new MCP features, feel free to check out the blog post linked in the description. Salesforce also gave the Atlas Reasoning Engine a major boost with Agent Force 3 update. According to the company, it now runs 50% faster than it did back in January 2025. Agents can also tap into web search to pull in more relevant info, and the platform has earned FedRAMP high authorization, meaning it's secure enough for US public sector use via Government Cloud Plus. Now it's still up for debate whether the original Agent Force trilogy has truly been the quantum leap for AI Salesforce promised, but there's no denying it's shaking up how they do business. Less than a year in, and Agent Force already feels like it's at the heart of everything Salesforce is doing. AI tools are popping up everywhere right now, but Salesforce might have a real edge with Agent Force. Adoption hasn't exploded just yet, but by the time version 4.0 lands, the question from execs might shift from why should we use agents to why aren't we already? If the tech keeps improving and the bumps keep getting smoothed out, it'll be hard to argue against it.